Right, well, we got some big news to let the viewers know, which is I am racing Tour of Serbia um, in September. It's a 60-second one. It's a 2.2, so it's my first UCI ra race. So it's going to be interesting. So anyway, I thought I'd go through how hard last year was and what I'm doing to get myself ready for it. So basically, stage one um, looked quite flat on the profile. A lot of crosswinds, quite a hard stage. 275 normalized for this man um, for three hours 40. Now, that would be my longest race by a long way. In the UK, we only do really do 120k races most of the time. That's the sort of max you do, unless you're doing like the National Series, which is maybe closer to 160. So this would be a big day out. He is heavier than me, so I'll probably get get round um, in slightly the better position. Sorry, slightly less watts than he would require. But even so, like, it split up a lot that day. It was very cross-windy, and most people finished quite far down. Um, but anyway, like, you know, this one is, if it's crosswind, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to go through my aims in a minute. Um, then we go over to stage two, the same bloke, 240 normalized. This was quite a quite a chill day, apparently. He did 240 and came almost top 20. Um, and the lad who won it overall, he, he did 210 normalized. I predict he's probably similar ma mass to me, maybe a little bit different. Um, anyway, stage three uh, is the big one. So he did 40K solo. Now, the thing is on this, obviously, isn't that power um, to weight. Um, but we can sort of tell roughly sort of what's Bikila we're going to be needing so we'll, we'll click on this man here um and see what happens but this team is like nice metropole who are like pretty good um so anyway, this guy does have weight he's 63 kilos his threshold 320 which i don't think is probably correct um but anyway this is the third stage of the race and my plan is basically just go for gc more or less i think um you know just see what i can do uh the level might be ridiculous the level might not be but you can see here like this is quite hard, like 54k an hour, 360 watts on the flat. Like, that does seem pretty hard. So I'm quite worried about that. Like, how hard is it going to be? You can see, like, before the first climb, it's like 270 normalized, which is, like, not easy for myself. First climb, 5.4 for 7 minutes. That's that's all good. We can we can wipe that out. Then, like, 6 watts per kilo almost for 2 minutes. That, again, isn't too issue. The big climb is this, which is 5.1 for 20 minutes. Um, so... You know that that should be doable when we think about it. Like it's it doesn't seem ridiculous. Obviously, you know I I'm not expecting to win this race or or do anything. But I think it's like the level is not like six watts per kilo for twenty. It's like fourteen hundred and thirty bam drafting twenty three k an hour six percent. It's not like impossible. Um and then the next climb again like five point six percent like sub thirteen hundred bam. Um and like the heat is is decent like it's twenty nine degrees but it's not like it's not absolutely ridiculous. Um, and then the last climb of the day was not too hard, but anyway, he actually managed to finish, um, third on that stage. So if we go onto this one here, uh, yeah, he was finishing sort of 30 seconds back from his teammate who managed to take the big W. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the queen stage. That's the big stage. So just to see, you know, that's going to be really deciding GC. And then the last stage is actually not that easy either. Um, potentially harder than you'd expect. So you can see here, like this is, 300 watts with actually this guy's powered here is probably gonna be wrong so you should probably go find the other one um but you can see like it's not necessarily gonna be easy here either 1200 vam on like the four percent is pretty decent actually so that looked quite hard stage um and then these ones look decently hard as well so i think like the last stage um looks hard but i'm not sure if it's the same so i know the first three stages are the same but i think the the second stage is um the, sorry the last stage it could be slightly different um so yeah i already sort of went through my plan a little bit the plan is to try and get a good GC result, I think. Just, you know, not do... I, like, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything that spectacular. So it's like, might as well just not lose time and see what happens. Like, I might, you know, have a mega crack on stage two and then it all goes out the window and might do something else. But I think my training for this was basically like, just pretend we're going to go for GC and see what happens. So you're like, okay, well, if I need to do 5.1 watts per kilo um, here, and let's say it's like maybe 5.3 after like 260 normal, so an hour and a half, that's the sort of training we need to do. So I was thinking, like, how are we going to do this? The UK, we don't have too many uh, long, hilly races. So we'll go over to my training peaks, and I'll sort of let you know what the plan was. Um, so anyway, oh, no, my answer. Sorry, okay, right. Um, where are we today? Um, right, also, I am now coaching people. So if you want to get coached by Chai Carbon Cycling, um, a link will be in the description um, to my website, and then you just have a look. So anyway, I sort of found out about Serbia, like, around this time. So I started planning out um my results so anyway like i had two weeks where i didn't really train too much into like 10 hours because i was a bit cracked um and so i cracked off a 20 minute test straight away i thought it was 60 kilos at the time i think i might be like 63 so i think i did about five watts per kilo for 20 which is which is not great for me to be honest um 
it's quite below watts and watts per kilo wise, like what I'd expect. I then did a five minute test um, after three hours, which was 372 watts. So that was like baseline, my five minute power, like if I'd done that fresh, probably would have been 10 watts higher. I don't lose too much on my five minute power. Like I can do three, four hours and it's pretty similar. Um, and so basically the plan is just to combine some racing with some some harder efforts. So you can see here, like I'm basically gonna be racing most weekends um, just because I wanna do well in the UK as well. Um, and not put all my eggs in Serbia, but also like, you know, you can see here, 290 normalized for two hours is um, is decent. And also that's why I think my threshold might be a bit higher because 94% of your threshold for two hours is pretty pretty tough normalized. But anyway, that was basically that race. It didn't go well. Um, moving on to the next ones, the, the key thing is obviously massive amounts of endurance. So you see four hours, six hours, five hour rides, um, just to get used to the training volume, because the, the race volume, because it, it's going to be long races. But the, the bread and butter is going to be these sessions, which I think... Um, I've sort of seen other people like Harry Sweeney do where you do like 30 15s to begin with to sort of like just tie you out um, then cruise around for a bit and then do some like four by eight minute efforts at the end this wasn't the best numbers I've ever done um, just because I had some interruptions on the road like tractors and all the rest of it um, I then had this road race which was like not I didn't go too badly after like 14 hours and three days had a day off um, I got ninth 280 normalized 277 normalized is like fine heart rate not too high either for that so quite happy with where the numbers were and then did five hours yesterday um had a disaster end up crashing so this this week is going to be a bit chaos but this is a three-day stage race which i think also should be quite good preparation for me um just in terms of the tss is two going to be it's going to be like two three hour ish um road races back to back which would be good and this is a tt and a crit um so these were going to change i'm not going to ride today because i'm bad and then i'm going to do like an hour probably um and then delete this and probably just do two one hour rides it's sort of like a mini rest week for me um, because I can do four weeks in a row, but I can't do five normally. Um, so you can see here anyway, we'll do that um, and then have a rest day after mend it. Then we're just going to do the same intervals, but just to try and do four by 12 at like 320 watts um, is the goal. You know, if I can do the four by 12 after like three hours at 320, I think that should be good. Um, six hours here, just standard. And then I just want to get used to some longer effort. So I'm going to do three by 20 tempo because the issue we have in the UK you don't have long road races so you've really got to like you know figure out how you're going to get that in it do you race or do you train and i think it's a mixture of both um then three hours easy that will be like you know low zone two um a rest day and then a race this race is like four hours long so it's going to be good prep as well and it's quite hilly and then this is basically my last block or uh, my last week um so i think i'm going to try and get this to be 28 hours which would be one of my biggest weeks i've done like 30 before but this would be quite big so again 30 15 is number four by 15 five hours, six hours, rest day, and then two road races back to back. That's mainly because I want to get good results in the UK and just get some more like, you know, results um, than training. I think if I was training, I'd do uh, race and then efforts or something like that. Anyway, then I'm going to have a week and a half taper, which will be my longest taper ever. But I think I really want to come into Serbia quite fresh. Um, so you can see like a couple easy days, 20 minute tests just to see where I'm at. An easy day, some short intervals, like normally I'd do maybe six of these, but I'll probably only do like four um, four intervals, but really high intensity. And then again, some more easy days. So I'm flying out on the 12th um, to Serbia. So hopefully ride that afternoon and ride on the Tuesday as a pre-race ride. And then I'll have my four day block of Serbia. So yeah, I'm really excited. Um, it'll just be good to see like the level, like how hard it is, how easy it is, all the rest of it. Um, the only thing I'm sort of questioning is if I do heat adaptation stuff, I think I think I might not because in the UK it has been really hot recently. Like it's been for like 30 degrees quite a lot. Um, but I think if it cools down, I might do some turbo inside just like half an hour, like 150 watts just to get used to the heat again, because I think that is a big, a big part of maybe why the watts aren't as high as you would expect them to be. Um, but yeah, that's that's enough from me. If you've got any questions about Taurus Serbia, um, I'm going to try and make some vlogs and also re record some race footage as well, because um, I think that'd be quite interesting to see what it's all like. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can pull out a big result. Um, but at the same time, I mean, if I can just get around that, I would be more than happy. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.